Hello and welcome to the tutorial series by QuickSite.com. In this tutorial we're going to go over how to um, take the web pages that you create and get them to show on the front end of your site like this and attach them to menu items within menus and these menus reside in modules. Uh, so I know it might sound confusing but let's dive into it. So go ahead and log in. So let's start by creating a test page for this example. I'm going to go into my article manager and click new. I'm going to select test page or type test page. Content here and I'm going to add a picture and put a link on it which we did in another tutorial. So I'm going to have it uh, linked to quicksite.com and open in a new window. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. And we'll see that the new page we created, test page, shows up in our article manager. Now once you have all the pages that you want for your website and they're stored in your article manager, it's now time to create menu and menu items that link to these articles. So let's first take a look at the structure that's already in place. First go to your menus link and you have menu manager, menu trash, and then we have um, by default a menu called main menu. And let's go ahead and click main menu. And you're going to see all these links here and basically that corresponds to the links that you see here. The menu name is main menu, main menu, home, was a sublink of mission statement home with a sublink of mission statement. So to show the test page that we created onto the site, let's create a new menu. To do so is very easy. You go into your menu manager and create click new. Now notice it says here module title. When you click save, something else happens. Not only do you create a menu, but you also create what's called a module. And a module is nothing more than a specialized box um, that does, well, different things, different specialized features. Um, you have a login module, which is a box that handles the login function of your site. So for example, the user login, this is the user login module. It's a specialized box that handles these functionalities for you. A module that holds a menu is another specialized box and this menu resides inside of it. And what a module allows you to do, especially with menus, is it allows you to move it around on your site. So for example, we show that this menu wants to be on the left hand side or that we want to place it there. This would all be taken care of in your module manager which we'll get to. So just pay attention to that right now or make note of that. So I'm going to click save and notice that the new menu was created. So I'm going to click on new menu I'm sorry. You're going to want to click on the icon where it says menu items. And as you can see, there's zero menu items. However, in the main menu, there's quite a few. There's nine. And you'll notice that uh, I don't have any menu items. But before we add the menu item, let's point out the fact that uh, in our menu manager, we have two menus. One is named main menu and the other is new menu. But if you notice on the front of your site, you won't see the new menu anywhere. Why is that? Well, earlier I spoke of modules, and let's go there now. It's under extensions in your module manager. You'll notice that there is a module of the same name as the menu. And the reason it does not show is because by default, when it's created, it is not enabled. So open that up. Choose to enable it. And we're going to want it to show on the left-hand side. Now, this drop-down box in this module, again, allows me to move the menu around. So as you can tell, we have a module also called Main Menu, and it is positioned on the left-hand side. That is this menu here. But going back to the new menu cr we created, we're going to want to enable it and also put it on the left-hand side and hit Save. Now when we go refresh the site, you'll notice that the new menu pops up. Now let's say we want to put a link there and that link is going to go to the test page that we just created. 
go into your new menu under the menu area and you notice you don't have anything there which of course makes sense that's why you don't have anything here go and select new for a new menu item in this case and for this tutorial you're going to want to select articles and article layout and this article layout is going to show or create a link that displays a single article or web page that you've created in this case the test page so you click that and we're just going to call it test page and you go over to this article selector here and select test page this basically brings up a small copy of your article manager and once we've done that we're going to hit save and to see those changes reflected on the front simply refresh your page and when you do you will see that there is a new link which is a menu item called test page which corresponds to the one we just made and when we click on it lo and behold it takes us to the page that we just created and if you also remember I made this picture linkable and when I click on that it's going to link to quicksite.com and it pops up in a new window like I told it to let's go a step further and say that I want that test menu or I'm sorry the new menu to be on the right side of the page I would go into the module manager find my new menu module which has the new menu item within it and I'm going to select right side save it when you refresh the page or preview your site you'll notice that the new menu has moved off to the right side the order of the menus on the left and right side are controlled by the order numbers here and these up or down arrows and that will control whether one module or menu is on top of the other and that is how you create text or content and add that content to a menu item and that's also how you create menus and you move those menus around by your modules and that concludes this tutorial